now, the general weather around Alaska. Okay, let's start off with the hazardous weather graphic. We've got snow advisories out for tonight for the Kenai Peninsula on up into the uh, greater Anchorage area for uh, several inches of snow, up to six inches in some areas, even heavier amounts over the mountainous terrain of the Kenai Peninsula, and a blowing snow advisory out tonight for Thompson Pass there along the highway for blowing snow and visibility is reduced to half a mile at times. And from there, looking at satellite imagery, <clears throat> low pressure here up over the uh, Gulf of Alaska, a band on the north side of that, slowly moving westward, spreading snow uh, from the uh, Western Copper River Basin across the uh, Manuska Valley and then down into the Anchorage area this afternoon with uh, clearer skies back to the west here down to Kodiak, pretty fair here in the western interior. More clouds up over the north slope, another low center down there affecting the Queen Charlotte Islands and a weakening band of clouds here coming across the Bering Sea from the Russian Far East there, extending all the way down to just west of Nikolsky. And you can see that uh, band slowly moving eastward. And then the uh, Cirrus here with the next big storm that's going to be rolling into the Aleutians uh, later tonight and actually tomorrow. Otherwise, the forecast for tonight, that next storm just coming onto the chart there a little bit there and high pressure in advance of that makes for light winds here, a break calm before the storm for the central Aleutians, Western Bering Sea. This front uh, or trough here continues to fall apart and doesn't make too much more eastward progress there, but it'll bring some showers down to the eastern Aleutians to the Pribilofs. Scattered snow showers with uh, diminishing winds here continue along the west coast with uh, Low pressure snow tonight, again, continues this evening through the night tonight with uh, several inches falling here over the uh, Kenai Peninsula up into the Manuska Susitna Valley. Lighter amounts to the north though, especially whatever gets across the Alaska Range there. Farther to the north and west, a dry area there, back into some light snow for the central and western Arctic coast. And this low center pulling back to the west just south of the Kenai Peninsula and now kind of hangs up a front, a weak front here along the North Gulf Coast for uh, rain and snow for the coastal areas. And again, snow it, with any elevation at all be in the form of snow and areas of rain grazing the coastal areas of the Panhandle. And for the uh, outlook for tomorrow, still a front here hung up along the coastline, keeps it wet for the southeast coast and the North Gulf Coast here. Snow uh, tapering off for Cook Inlet in the Manuska Valley as well as the Copper River Basin here with dry conditions, gusty northwest winds for Kodiak Island. The main batch of snow now up along and north of the Alaska Range in the central interior there to the Yukon Flats and the Koyukuk Valley with some snow down into the Kuskokwim Valley, but uh, mostly clear, dry or mostly dry here for Bristol Bay. Isolated showers now, it's all left over for the Alaska Peninsula and still have a trough out here over the eastern Bering Sea affecting mostly just the St. Lawrence Island area with a little bit of light snow there and the trough along the western Arctic coast, producing some light snow up in that area. Big storm out to the west here, brings good storm force winds into the western Aleutians with gales spreading in toward Adak and Atka. High wind uh, warning out for the western Aleutians, possible gusts over 85 miles an hour there as that moves in. And then we'll see on Saturday that pulls up to the northeast here, front pulling away from the center starts weakening now as it bears down on the eastern Aleutians and Pribilof Island. Still some gusty winds and rain moving into those areas and strong westerly, west-southwest winds for the western Aleutians. By contrast, light winds, dry conditions, fair amount of clearing here for the western part of the state, actually into the eastern Bering Sea there. And that'll extend all the way down to the Alaska Peninsula and in toward Kodiak Island, this low weakening there over the Gulf of Alaska. Still keeps a chance of some moisture for the uh, coastal areas. And another storm starting to uh, move northward here brings, uh, <clears throat> at least for the first day of the weekend, brings increasing wind and rain to the southern panhandle. And then we'll see for uh, Sunday that uh, system kind of splits into two lows here, pulling up northward off the coast. So wet, windy conditions for the southeast coast uh, Saturday night and Sunday. Actually, the southern area is just about the entire weekend and then eventually spreading up to the north. Fair skies, light winds here, south central Alaska, up into the uh, Tanana Valley, a few isolated snow showers up toward the Yukon River. Areas of light snow and flurries for the Arctic coast 
area locally into the North Slope in the northwest part of the state here. Looking pretty good. Uh, mostly clear, a little breezy in some areas. And uh, chance of some uh, snow here along the southwest coast a little bit there. This low's hanging back over the western Bering Sea, slowly weakening. And, but staying out to the west there, that'll swing another active trough into the western Aleutians. This trough brings some showers eastward from Adak and Atka, sliding in toward the Fox Islands in the afternoon hours. And for the lows tonight, anywhere from 0 to 15 here in the interior, out to the Arctic coast. Upper 20s for South Central Alaska, near 20 in the Copper River Basin, and teens and 20s back out to the west, and then back up to the upper 20s, and uh, well into the upper 20s out toward the um, Makoriuk area in Nunavak Island. 30s for the Aleutians and the Bering Sea, upper 30s, lower 40s for the Panhandle. <clears throat> and the highs for Friday afternoon in the 40s for the southeast coast. 30 South Central Alaska, 15 to 20 for the Cuscomb Valley, otherwise uh, in the 20s for your uh, western and southwest part of the state, including the Seward Peninsula and the northwest coast and the western Arctic coast, a little chillier there to the east, otherwise teens for the Tanana Valley, and then the lows for Saturday morning, 0 to 15 here over much of the interior, all the way down into Bristol Bay with upper 20s for Kodiak Island, in the 20s for South Central Alaska, 15 for the Copper River Basin, and 35 to 40 for the Southeast Coast, followed by high Saturday afternoon into the 30s, 30 to 35, in some cases 35 to 40, down toward the Southern Kenai Peninsula and Kodiak Island, as well as the Alaska Peninsula, mid 40s for the Aleutians, in the 40s for the Southeast Coast, teens and 20s for the Arctic Coast North Slope on into the interior.